Uh, my name is Susan DeLong. I work for True Worth Place uh, and I'm the education coordinator. I'm Betsy Beeman. I'm the director of communications for Presbyterian Night Shelter and True Worth Place. Uh, my name is Judy Glover. I work for True Worth Place and I am their community engagement coordinator. My name is David Allman. I'm retired from the Air Force and I'm part of the Air Force Academy Association of Graduates and we help out the homeless veterans at the Patriot House and the other shelters. A lot of the people I work with, um, walking is their primary uh, source of, of transportation. And so, um, or I guess that's really not transportation, but that's, that's their primary source for getting from one place to the other. So um, having a bike is, is just a step in the right direction. So the first mile program for Presbyterian Night Shelter, honestly, is an opportunity for our guests to be able to feel like a member of this of society, right? So it's it's a program that really allows them to get on a bike and have fun, and maybe even at times escape the reality that they are currently struggling with homelessness and feel just like another Tarrant County neighbor. First Mile program is an opportunity to um, give our homeless guest an opportunity, uh, a chance to. Um, go get to appointments, get to job interviews um, without that waiting for the bus or walking those long miles or missing an opportunity because it was so far away. Um, I think it's a great chance for them to explore the city, um, to have some freedom where they're not stuck or uh, limited to um, our, our facilities or our services. For its first mile specifically is because uh, it, it really, uh, it's the, the uh, hand up, not the hand out, you know, this, this transportation uh, uh, capability, um, enabling those to, uh, to to get to work, to, to get to the store. Um, you know, our shelters are in places where, uh, whether they're, they're food islands or other. Um, and uh, so, to, when you can, uh, when you find a program out there that, that you know is filling a void, filling a need for those that that, uh, that need it most too, then, then absolutely, it's it's an important uh, an important cause too. And um, everyone should uh, should look at this as a, as something to support. I think First Mile would benefit um, a, one, a girl named Laurel. She um, is a great girl. She has um, ended up in this situation by making some poor choices uh, in her life. But um, I talked with her about possibly going to the Amon Carter Museum. And um, we were going to make it a field trip through True Worth. But if she had access to a bike, um, she could definitely ride to the Cultural District and do that on her own. Amon Carter is free, so it's, it, it, this program would really benefit her. I think the most beneficial for First Mile is that population who is wanting to get out of homelessness, right? It's those individuals who are struggling every single day to get to their job, whether it be a mile away or 10 miles away. Um, they're in that most desperate need for reliable transportation. And at times, this first mile, this bike is going to get them. It's, it's their only thing that's not getting them to their job, if that makes sense. So for me, it's so beneficial to, I think, people that are just like me, who never thought they'd be in a situation of homelessness, got there for whatever reason, and they are just desperately trying to get out. And the only thing they need is that reliable transportation. And I just think you'd be surprised at how many people, they're one step away from getting back on their feet and getting from homelessness to home. So I, I really think it's beneficial for all of our guests, even down to someone who's just staying the night and just needs to get from point A to point B that next day, that alone has, you've, you've given them a key to get out of homelessness. They, yeah, they'll, they'll get a card um, and then um, they'll just, it'll, it'll have rides on it. They can go in there and they grab a bike. They can use that bike to get to the train station. They can use that bike to, to get to their jobs or go to a job interview or to receive the critical documents um, and then bring it back and that card has already been paid for and has already been um, is just available for them. This first mile program is definitely something that we want to be a part of too. So we're we're uh, through donations, uh, like uh, like hopefully everyone else can uh, can support too, or how we can be involved too. We want to see this program succeed. We're excited about this program because it's giving them that sense of hope, that sense of dignity and truly an avenue to get themselves out of homelessness and into a home where they can be just like everyone else.